Now a band called Tattoo. These girly girls are making a mark, and it's really not all about their music. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Dave's here with a tale of two rowdy Russians who have some people seeing red. Yeah, this will go down as one of my favorite interviews. And by the way, Forget Vodka made Tom shake over here. Anyhow, <laughs> take two sweet young girls from Moscow, dress them in schoolgirl outfits, soak them down with water, then have them kiss passionately. And what do you get? Try a number one album in 10 countries and a top 20 hit in America. Welcome to the 21st century. They're kissing. That gets attention. Everybody loves us. That's tattoo. And what's not to love? The Tonight Show booked him, but then cut away during the kiss. Jimmy Kimmel showed him uncut, but then the girls censored themselves. ABC was just like, oh, we will show you a kiss. We will show you a kiss. Of course, we are better than NBC. And Yes, folks, these two nutty Russians are causing quite a stir. What's the big deal if you two kiss? Um, I don't know. Uh, wh what is the big deal about NBC? But, I don't know, for us it's just like fun. We like to kiss each other. But does all that fun and kissing make Tattoo a bit cranky? Are you together? Are you girlfriend and girlfriend? Do you have boyfriends too? Is it important for you? Have you a boyfriend? No. Wait. Because I don't. I'm asking, you just asked me, I gave you the but, answer. Do you not want to answer that question? That's but, fine. The fact that you two are kissing, does that sometimes become more important than the music? I don't think so, because first of all, it's our music and our lyrics and our songs. And only then, all the videos and our private life. Did I mention cranky? Uh, let's stop discussing our kids. Okay. It's our private life. Uh, okay, but it's just as funny when you say it's private because it's all over MTV and your album is at the it top of the chart. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. On MTV we can do whatever we want. Uh, did I mention cranky? And <laughs> what do you think? What do you what think? What do you think? We don't like to speak about people. We don't like to speak about, about us. Okay. I've been working in the music industry since before you were born, so I've seen bands come and go. Some bands have gimmicks, and some bands live on music. I'm trying to decide if you live on music or if you're a gimmick. Is that fair? Sure, let's go. No. And so Tattoo continues to conquer America. Is it because of what comes out of their mouth or what goes on to them? In 2003, does it really matter? As you become a very rich and famous superstar, are you going to, is your life going to change? We are already superstars. Wow. Wow. What's you, going to you, you know what I'm thinking, guys? Mm. Right. <laughs> By the way, first the Russians veto the, the UN resolution, and then they send, those, send us those two. Clearly, the, the Cold War is not over, is it, guys? No. 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 But by the way, before we go on, you guys, were we all clapping in here? Yeah. You let us have it! Nice interview, Dave! I mean, these two little snotty kids. But by the way, you got to applaud. I mean, if that's not a rock and roll attitude, what is? Those guys were really going. And you got to applaud them for their individuality. I just wanted to applaud them on the back side of my... What? But is it an act? Well, no, they're really... Yeah. Uh, by the way, and anybody, God bless the Russian people, having spent a lot of time in Russia, these are, God bless their spirit, and they were going for it. It was wonderful, and they brought it. That's the rock and roll spirit they have. I got to ask you a question, because you asked them, are they a gimmick or are they about the music? What do you really think? Well, I mean, clearly the song's getting played on yeah. radio. If they weren't smooching in, in a in a video and if they weren't getting so much publicity because they're going everywhere and they're all over the press kissing. So if they weren't doing that, would the song be as popular? We'll never really know, will we? Well, yeah. Dave, one more thing, though, about the networks, though. You, we can't see two girls kiss, but we can watch Fear Factor where people are eating horses rectum. Well, but... <laughs> Good point. Is that on Fear Factor? Yeah. <laughs> so, we got to tune in. You, you know what's really interesting? Well, please know that it's not a network thing. It was NBC The Tonight Show. Jay Leno chose not to do that. The Kimmel Show touted them mm. the following night, and that was it. So really, it depends on individual show. Can I really quickly go over? Yeah. Because uh, I'm going away. We're going awesome. Real quickly, 50 Cent is on the back of, it's back on the top of this week's album chart, mm. following Nora Jones's huge uh, post-Grammy search. Nora's still huge at number two. And big album chart debuts for Fabulous and Little Kim. And 50 Cent into Club is the most downloaded song of the week, guys. So Very there's a good. little catch up. I felt uh, a little sexual mm -hmm. tension there. I think you're going to need to revisit with the girls, maybe it, in a hot tub. <laughs> maybe do your interview in a hot tub. Well, I time. think that's sick, considering, again, I am old enough to be their father. How dare you? I know it's <laughs> oh, Hollywood. This oh, is like you were Goodbye. saying yeah, it earlier. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. wasn't saying it. <laughs> Dirty dog. All right, quick break. We'll be right back. You know that's what he was thinking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Old enough. I've been in the business.